why we are worshipping Rama in this country is, he's not a super success. He's a serial disaster, if you look at it. <laughs> yes, even today is having real estate issues, that's why you brought this up <laughs> uh, It is not today alone, right from the beginning of his life, he's in trouble and trouble and trouble and trouble. See, he's a rightfully a king. He's coronated at the age of seventeen or eighteen. He ma marries a, a princess and within a one or two years, he's sent to the forest. They didn't go to the jungle for picnic. This is a, like, you know, throwing him out of the kingdom from his power and everything. That itself would have shattered a man, but he settled down there. Now uh, the Sri Lankan people come and kidnap his wife and go away. <laughs> after all, after all he is a king. If uh, somebody steals his wife and takes her away some three thousand kilometers down south, there's no GPS to even find out where is Sri Lanka, <laughs> all right? At a time like that, being a king, he could have found a local solution. There would be any number of women to marry the man, he's a king. But he goes in search of her, not with a big army, just him and his brother, like ordinary people. If a man has to walk three thousand kilometers down south, not knowing where she is, whether she is alive or dead or what's happened, then she must mean so much to him, yes or no? Otherwise, why would a man walk south? that distance. Now, he goes there, he forms a Tamil army, don't forget this <laughs> and then uh, there is a fight, kills hundreds of people, burns down a beautiful city, gets back his wife, comes and settles down. Before this I will tell you, he goes for a year of penance in Himalayas. His brother asks, are you crazy? This man stole your wife and now you're doing penance for his death. He said, he had ten basic qualities, Ravana. Killing those nine, which were horrendous qualities, I… no penance for me, no repentance for that. But he was also a great devotee and I killed that also. So one year of penance the man goes for. This is not a <laughs> And then he settles down and his wife is pregnant. You must understand for a king, his wife is pregnant means it's not just about a child. It's a progeny for his empire and there are many things involved. No sonogram, so he doesn't know whether it's a girl or a boy or boys or girls or anything. But once again a political situation evolves where he has to send his wife to the forest which you are saying is insecurity. Uh, not that part. Uh, that? So we can even begin from the first point in which after he rescues Sita, Sita has to sit through a fire to prove that she is pure. For whom? so that other people will accept her because Rama cared about how people saw him. Rama, when he came back, a random dhobi in your kingdom said that Sita, I am not like Ram who will keep a woman in my house who might have a child which is not mine. For this, Rama sends away Sita again to the forest. That, that is the insecurity you're talking about. At any point, Rama wanted his people to love him. No, no, let's come to this properly. Today in our country, there are many kinds of things. I'm asking you, do you want a leader for this nation who puts the people of this nation above his own family and his personal love? I'm asking you. Yes. Or do you want a Dhritarashtra at any cost, my son? You want a man who puts the citizens of this uh, country above his family. This is not a, just another woman for him. He went and fought a battle for her, walked three thousand kilometers. This is not just another woman, he is living for her, but still he sends her back to the jungle when she is pregnant, knowing fully well that it could be his future for this kingdom. And he is putting… see, this is not just about a dobi, this is what your mistake, you are taking these things literally. When a dobi said, what it is being said is ordinary people are talking like this. Ordinary people have no trust in the king that he's… she… he's just brought some woman from somewhere and he's made her our queen because queen is seen as a mother to the nation. We don't want such a woman as our mother, that's what they're saying. She went and lived with some man somewhere. This is what the people of those times are saying. So if the king says, I don't care what you think, I love my wife and keep her, that would be not a good king, not a good administrator. So he's putting his people above 
somebody that he loves very, very dearly and she's pregnant. It's not a small thing for him, it means a world. But still, he sends her to the jungle. This should be bowed down to, this is why we bow down to the man. The reason why he is worshipped today is, though life through disasters after disasters at him, the man never became resentful, never became hateful, never became angry. He did not become a recluse either. He went about fulfilling every duty that he has to do. With a personal pain and grief that he is carrying all his life, the man went about doing the best he can do for his praja of the day. There are very few human beings, no matter what is the situation, they will be who they are. We must see this.